George, welcome to All City. How does it feel to join the club? Yeah, I'm over the moon. Uh, delighted to get it finally done. It's been going on for a while. Uh, when I was on holiday and stuff, it was going back and forward, but praise the Lord, the, uh, the job's done. I can't wait to get started. Why Hull City? Why do you want to come here? Um, I think, for one, the stadium. I mean, it's probably the biggest one where, uh, as a home player, playing, coming here, playing every week, it'll be fantastic. And also, the what they've done in the past, like they've been Premier League, they're a massive team um, and it's just, uh, I like going up north I suppose. You played with the manager Grant McCann at Peterborough for a short time, was that a key factor in your decision to come here as well? Yeah I think so because like I said before I, I played under managers that are more sort of set up I'd say defensively sort of thing and I know that Grant really likes to play attacking football um, and I really like working with him at Peterborough. Um, and he just wants me to do the same sort of thing here, um, get on the ball, run at players and obviously do my bit for the team, so hopefully I can help out, but he was a massive factor as well in me joining here. Speaking of playing styles, what is yours? What can fans expect from you? Uh, just an exciting player. I love to get, get on the ball, whatever situation I'm in, whether there's players behind me, in front of me. Uh, I'm not scared to travel with a ball, um, twist and turn, get shots off and try and create and score goals, I suppose. Um, and just play with a smile on my face. What is it like to be joining a club that won promotion, not just promotion, but the League One title last season? Yeah, no, it's fantastic like, for the boys. Um, I've experienced that with Luton when we won the title as well, and I know the feeling that they must have had um, when they, they won it. Um, so really happy, of course, to be back in the championship, I suppose. Um, it's the level that you want to play at if not higher, but it must have been fantastic for all the fans and all the players to, to clinch that promotion and win the title. Looking back over your career, you scored some important goals during your time. We'll look at the Colchester one first. What was it like to score the goal that kept them up on the final day of the season? Um, yeah, no, it's fantastic. Um, I, I believe that yeah, I'm a bit, as you know, I don't know if supporters know, but I'm a massive Christian and I always give praise to God in every situation. And I believe that day, it was already written down, you know, just like it is today that I'm here. Um, I put full faith in him and I thank him for the opportunity to come here and play and also for that moment back then when I scored um, to keep Colchester in League One. So he gets all the praise and glory and I'm just over the moon that he's opened a door here that I couldn't resist. Four years later, you scored two goals as Luton were crowned League One champions. You seem to like those big occasions. Yeah, to be fair, I think he always delivers for me in them big games. Um, I try and play with no fear. Um, I believe that everything does happen for a reason and to score them goals, yeah, it's fantastic and uh, we obviously won the title back then. Um, but yeah, again, mate, he gets all the praise and glory for that. That was quite an incredible season for you. Champions with Luton. Barnsley, who you played with at the start of the season, came runners-up. Two promotions in one year. Tell us about that. Yeah, I know it's, it's quite crazy, actually, because I don't think many players have maybe done that. Um, although. Uh, I ended it with Luton and I obviously started the season with Barnsley so it's a weird situation and um, I was actually really happy that they did get promotion even though we had a laugh and a joke about it. Some things that I said might have been taken in the wrong way, um, like unlucky Barnsley when they didn't get the top spot but it, overall I was really happy that they come second and uh, also went back up. After two and a half years at Luton did you feel ready for a change, a fresh start with Hull City? Yeah definitely, um, like you say so it's, a, it's about sort of finding your, your home and playing where you're most happy and I really enjoyed my time at Luton, I loved everyone there um, but like I say it's another opportunity where I do admit I do like playing up north, I don't know why um, and um, I just can't wait to get going and playing on that pitch down there. What are your hopes for the season ahead? Um, just to probably play as much as I can, um, score as many goals as I can get positive results in the league because the championship's a very tough league. Um, never get too down if I'm not playing or because you've got an opportunity to come play for a massive team, um, which I'm over the moon with and just, yeah, just keep my head down and try and do better than I did last year. Finally, pre-season starts on Monday. How much are you looking forward to getting the preparations in the way for the new campaign? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind getting the balls out, but running, I'm not sure about that straight away. Um, but you've got to do it, I suppose. You've got to keep your fitness up and you've got to build that to get ready for the first game. 
uh, I think it's Preston away. So everyone's gonna, everyone sort of knows the timing and they know when pre-season is because you start getting a bit nervous about the runs and that. Um, but like I say, mate, when, once you get them out of the way and you start building properly, uh, there's no greater feeling than having the ball back at your feet. Looking forward to meeting the lads? Yeah, to be fair. Um, went down there today, didn't I? Got a test done. No Callum Elder uh, and Josh Emmanuel. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a quite easy going character. I get on with everyone. Um, so just can't wait to meet them and see, see if anyone's got any banter.